Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to fix Windows 11 start button is not working. It is a very simple problem and I give the multiple solution to fix this problem. So let's go to the, our video. Our first method is restart Windows Explorer. Just go to the taskbar, right click on the taskbar. Here we find task manager. Just click on the task manager. This is the, our first way to go to the task manager. If it's not working taskbar, or the taskbar is not working, right click is not working, then I give the multiple solution. First is the control shift accept, control alt delete, or just navigate to task mgr.exe file. I just go with the first method, control alt delete, just press the control alt delete. Now here we find task manager, just click on the task manager, okay? Now our task manager is open. Now here just find Windows Explorer, just find Windows Explorer. Just find Windows Explorer, right click on the Windows Explorer and just click on the restart, it's restart your task manager, your start, all things, all things are restart. Now just click at here. Now our all things are restart once again. It's the time and after that, just close it. Now just go to the start. Now start button is working. That is the, our first method. If first method is not working, then I just give the second method. Second method is restart your PC. There are multiple ways to restart your PC. I just give some ways to restart your PC. The first and simple way, is just press control or delete on your keyboard. Just press control delete. Okay. Now here you find power button. Just click on the power and just click on the restart and restart your machine. That is the, our first way. Second way is just close all application just close all application if you want to save then save all application and close all application then just press alt f4 just press alt f4 on your keyboard and just go to the here and just go to the restart or shutdown okay that is the, our second method okay then now the third method is just go to the task manager okay right click on the taskbar just go to task manager okay now here just go to the file and run a new task here just go to the here I, and just type shutdown do, shutdown space balaxes r just type like this and just click on the okay and after some time this close button is appear now just close it now less than a one or two minutes your machine automatically goes to the restart that is the, our third method now our machine is restarting now our machine start once again now just go to the start and our start button is working if this method is not working for you then i just give the another method another method is the system file checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system file that are very simple way okay now just go to the here task manager right click on the task manager taskbar sorry and just go to the task manager okay in task manager just go to the file and run a new task and this time just type PowerShell, just type PowerShell and just give the administrative privileges. Just check this box and just click on OK. Okay. Now here is the our PowerShell. Okay. Now I just go to the your description. In description, I just give the multiple commands, system file checker commands. Just copy the first command. Just paste it at here and hit enter key. Now just go to the second command. Just copy this and just paste that here and just hit enter key. It's a too many time so i don't give this command at this point okay it's make a video long and then last after this command is completed now just go to the scan now command this last command copy this command just copy this command and paste it at here and hit enter key and your problem must be solved that is the our third way the fourth way fourth way is also very simple our fourth way is reinstall and re-register all built-in and uh, application just reinstall and re-register all built-in application in Windows. Okay, that is the, our third way. Just go to the here taskbar once again, task manager. Then just go to the file, run new command, new task, and just go to the creator, administrative privileges, PowerShell, and just click on OK. Now PowerShell is open. Now just go to this command and just copy this entire command. Just paste it here, hit enter key. It's take long time. It's reinstall and re-register your all built-in application okay it's take time and after that just check your start button is working or not the another way is or the last way is just update your windows okay if your search button this search button is working then just go to the here and just type windows update settings just do the windows update settings and check for updates and if any update is available for you then just update your windows okay if this is not working this search bar is not working or anything happened to here then just go to the our taskbar once again taskbar and just right click on the taskbar and just do the task manager here just go to the file and just do the run new task okay just go to the 
PowerShell and just check this mark. Okay, administrative privileges and just click on OK. Now this PowerShell is open. Now just go to the this command command for Windows update. Okay, just go to the first command. This first command copy this command paste it at here and just hit enter key. Then just go to the after completion this complete this command. Then just go to the second command copy and paste it and enter. Just go to the third command after that. Then fourth command. Then after fifth command and just update your windows operating system and then restart your machine and after that your problem must be solved so guys this is the five methods to fix this problem in a windows 11 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys